Hi guys. I recently discovered that thumbnails are a thing, so thumbnail pick. Okay, now that we're done with that, welcome back. We are doing a ground turkey burger with barbecue sauce and cheese. Easy peasy, like everything else that I do. We're also gonna make some sweet potato fries in the oven. My mom used to make this regularly. It is like the thing when people are like, what's your favorite thing that your mom makes? This was it, like this was my favorite thing growing up. I don't know why. So I'm gonna teach you how to make it. Let's go. So first things first, we're gonna prep the sweet potatoes because we can put them in the oven and they're gonna take a minute and then we can do everything else. So I'm gonna do them like you've seen me do them in the, in the, oh my God, in the, oh my God, I have the worst memory. I did this, oh, in the meal prep video. I just cube them, olive oil, salt, pepper, in the oven at 375. <laughs> If you just saw that tetris situation but i just got all of it on one pan that's pretty impressive if you ask me i'm gonna take my olive oil salt pepper i like recently transitioned from flaky sea salt to kosher and i was like i shouldn't be cooking with flaky sea salt number one it's like expensive and it's really a finishing salt Whatever, so I, I transitioned to kosher sea salt. I bought this huge thing to like fill up so I can like, it took me a minute to realize that it's like a little saltier. So like less is more. There's a lot of videos recently where I'm like, everything is a little over salted. I have a lead foot with the old kosher sea salt. I'm gonna do a little paprika. I was gonna do cayenne, but Miss Lola Pants is gonna have some. Okay, so that's done. Sweet potato in the oven, 375, 25 minutes. Next thing we are doing is ground turkey of it all. I have my ground turkey. Skinny Latina, we're gonna need this. You don't need it, but you should have it because this makes things take less time because I don't have to do that much. I'm putting salt, pepper, and this with like, you know, two eggs and panko and throwing it on the, on the stove. So I'm only trying to help you. I'm gonna make that cilantro sauce because I have all the things later. I'm not gonna show you that. You know how to make that. I have my ground turkey. I have panko. I have my skinny Latina. Eggs, salt and cute gravy boat, pepper. That's it, putting everything in the bowl. So let's, let's show you how to do that. I'm just cutting open my ground turkey and I'm dumping it in the bowl. First thing I'm gonna do is mix this up so it's a little more manageable to mix everything together later. Sprinkle salt, pepper. Gonna put a good amount. I'm gonna put two eggs. Don't worry about what you just saw there. Everything's fine. Gonna mix that all together. The mother of all marinades. Good job. Now that that's all mixed up, we are going to head to the stove top to do, do the thing. See, I haven't figured out the setup over here yet. Oh, this isn't going to work, though. That will absolutely fall. Uh, oh, come on. No. This is a nightmare. Hold on. Wow. That was an ordeal. I'm turning the stove on to medium so the pan gets ripping hot before we put a burger on. Turkey burgers tend to fall apart on a grill, so best to keep them here. I'm gonna bring these guys over. The key here is to be prepared. You know, like you should have a plate ready to transfer. You should have the spatula ready. You should have the accoutrements you wanna put on the burger, ready to go at your station. You're here, you live here, you live here. Okay, plate, spatula, an enormous bag of cheese and a barbecue sauce. I'm using the barbecue guava fig from Skinny Latina. This woman should really be paying me, huh? Here I am, free promo. This is an enormous bag of cheese, and I know that. I didn't get this. It's one of those Instacart things that you do where you're like, oh yeah, a bag of cheese. Oh, it looks like it's on sale. I wonder why. It's because it's an enormous bag of cheese. When John Liam saw it, he was like, that's a really big bag of cheese. I don't think we eat that much cheese. And I was like, oh, I know these Instacart guys. They're crazy. It was my fault. Okay, I'm gonna spray the pan. I'm gonna manhandle these burgers, okay? I'm just making them in my hand as I go. Nice little ball, palm of my hand. I flatten and then, you hear that? I put about three 
on my pan. So I'm gonna give them about three to four minutes on each side and I'll show you what happens when we flip them. That's when things start getting a little crazy. But right now we just kind of wait, clean up, I don't know, do your thing. All right, we're flipping these. Ah. Okay, we're doing things. So I just flipped them. I'm pressing them down before I first get barbecue sauce. I'll just show you, this is hard. So we're putting a glob of barbecue sauce on each of these and then covering it in cheese. And now cover it so that cheese melts. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, that looks gross. And that's fine if you think that, but it doesn't. I saw this video recently of Selena Gomez teaching like Vogue or, or like Elle magazine of like, this is my little snack. I'm going to teach you how to make it. And it was a Ritz cracker with string cheese, a pepperoni, and she put it in a toaster oven and then ate it. And I was like, that's really gross. And then I was like, you know what? She probably grew up eating that and that's what she liked and that's what feels nostalgic and that's what we're doing here. I'm Selena Gomez. I just got a text. I'll just show you what's going on in here. Ooh. Once that's done, I'm gonna transfer it on the plate and just keep the train moving. I know. Mm. It's good, but like aesthetically, it could use more color. You know what I mean? Like they can be a little bit more charred. So I'm leaving them like an extra 40 seconds. Mm. We're running into an issue. We're running low. Hold on. Secret stash. We have another barbecue sauce. It's different flavored. This one's guava fig. This one's mango apricot, but both good. So we're gonna pivot. We're honestly like not even halfway done, which is crazy, but I have this much left of the turkey. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I ate one patties which is great because these are they're so easy to eat they're we don't eat them with buns ground turkey is so much like lighter and easier to eat so i could put down like five of these i'm not kidding <laughs> oh sweet potatoes i think are done the timer went off so let's let's check them out we're looking good let me poke mm, i want them to be a little bit more tender i'm gonna put them in for like five more minutes set a timer for seven minutes i lied i'm gonna give you an an update on this because you're so far away. It was just overwhelming when I was doing it the first time. So I'm like giving myself some time and space from you, but we're doing good. We added color to the ground turkey. It's looking much more appetizing. <laughs> My hair should have been like this the whole time. This is much cuter. Thanks. This is what we have so far. Yum! <laughs> Everything's fine. Yum! Guest appearance by Miss Lola. You want to help me flip a burger? Flip! Puff crowd. Flip! Press! Press! Barbecue sauce. A little queso. Mmm! Isn't that fun? Isn't it so much better to not be crying? The last burgers. Oh my god. We're done. <sighs> We're gonna plate now. I'm going to take one of the minis, because I just had a full one. Put that on a plate. A bowl. You know me, I love a bowl. I'm gonna take some of the sweet potatoes. Do you wanna watch me do this or do you wanna watch Lola eat her food? I wanna watch Lola eat her food. And that's it. I'm gonna see what you're eating, Lola. That's a bite. Mmm. Feeling like barbecue sauces is not for you. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks.